بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Islam goes in line with our sound reasoning. Yes. Sound reasoning yes. is something which human beings are created with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes in line with our natural inclination. Yes. For example, worship one God is perfect. Okay. Any human being with a sound reason and say, yeah, that makes sense. Yes? Right, right. Okay? Right. Islam comes to uh, tell you that, uh, for example, God has an attribute which is mighty and a power and so on. Yes, yes. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, he said, it's not befitting for him to have a son. That makes sense to any human being. Okay. Because to have a son, that is a human nature to have children, to take on your okay, name yeah. and so on. Exactly. So when you use Islamic teaching, it goes in line with our sound reasoning. So therefore, the one who creates our sound reasoning, yes. which is the creator, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's the one who gave us Islam. Okay. Perfect way. Okay, thank you. One more question, You're and then I'm going to leave you. But can I ask you a question? No, 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 please. Okay, you can ask after I ask. Where are you from, by the way? No, you no, don't mind. South Africa. Yes? South Africa. Please, my friends, please. Okay. Uh, my one question is this. Uh, please tell me, what is going to happen to individuals who have lived? Because on planet Earth, there have been many individuals who have lived without knowing Islam. Is that right? Have left without? I have lived this life. Lo lived, lived, lived. 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 Ah, okay, okay. Without knowing Islam. They've Tayyip. not known the... the, the, the Islam, yes. Allah. They never heard about Islam. But they, they may have lived in such a way that they weren't harming other people. They've lived a decent life, you can say. You understand? I understand your point, yeah. Please tell me what's going to happen to those people. Alhamdulillah, Prophet Muhammad SAW gave us the, the, the answer. Yes. He said, if someone died, Without even hearing about Islam, yes. Allah on their judgment will not punish them straight away. Allah will test them. Why? Test them. Yeah, test them in Can the you way. Tell me what the test is. Please. Allah knows best. There's some narrations, but I'm not sure if it's authentic or not. But Allah will test them on their resurrection. Because Allah said in the Quran, Allah will never punish people yeah. until the, the, the message has reached them. You that's, understand? That's amazing. Yeah, so that's in the unless Quran. Unless they are conscious of doing wrong, of, the, of the message. He won't judge them. Yeah, but also I want to mention something. You said they live a good life or a decent life. Yeah. The most, uh, the, the the greatest part of to be decent yeah. is to worship God alone. Okay. So being good to your neighbors and your yeah. friends and your families is something which is good. But not being good to the one who gave you everything is the most evil thing. But However, some people they are ignorant. They don't okay, know. That's yeah, what I want to they've say. been brainwashed. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay. That's why in the Quran Allah said we never punish people until the message has reached them. Okay. As a Christian, do you have teaching like that? Okay, no, no, no. Before we get to Christianity, what I'm asking you is, Shamsi, last question. Last question. Yeah. What do you believe is going to happen to those individuals? What do you be believe is going to happen to them? It's, it's, I told so you what Islam, yeah, what Islam teaches. It's not about what so, I believe, it's about what Islam tells me. Okay, so they, it's not about my opinion, of course, what I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not about my opinion, it's what Islam teaches me. As a Muslim, whatever Allah and His Messenger said, I believe in it 100%. So, so it's, it's possible then. It's possible then that some people who have never accepted Islam, it's possible then that they would be in Jannah. No, 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 like that. You have to uh, be uh, more specific. It's possible that yeah. one they never heard about Islam, yes. they will pass the test on the day of judgment. Okay. So if they pass test. the test, they will go Jannah. Okay, in the so set. And that test, test, no, that test has, it has to go in line with Islam. Because yeah. Islam is the perfect, uh, is the last uh, teach, not the last. It's, when I say Islam, let me make something clear to people. Yeah. When we say Islam is the last teaching, mean the, 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 Islam, the Prophet Muhammad legislation that he came with. But because Islam is the religion of all the creation. Islam, Islam is the religion of all, all the creation, yes. So wait, there was Islam in the days of Abraham. Yes. That's correct, yes. Yes, yeah. So Because what is Islam? Islam is Arabic terminology. So what? hold on a second, can I ask the, you then? So you No, I want this one, Akhi. Barakallah, Akhi. But yeah, yeah, shukran. Uh, 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 so, so but before that, before that, okay, what is Islam? Because you know, what's happening now, people are mixing uh, between Arabic terminology yeah. and other, te uh, other, uh, in other languages. Yeah. Islam means you submit yourself to the Creator alone according to his teaching yes according to his teaching and that is through his prophets and messengers abraham submits himself to the creator alone correct yes according to the teaching of of the torah the torah no the torah abraham came before torah abraham yeah he came before torah what are you talking about no don't laugh don't laugh no 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 no, no, no. hold on a second i'm asking you he's you said he, he submitted himself to the teachings of According, no, not Torah, according to God's teachings. Yeah, but those were the teachings that God gave to Moses, right? No, before Moses, I'm saying. No, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, uh, yeah, Abraham became... The foundation is, yeah, uh, let me quickly. The yeah. foundation is the same. The yes. worshiping of God alone, 
all the prophets and messengers came with it. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Yeah. What I'm asking you is, yes, I know Abraham came before Moses. What I'm saying to you is, Abraham's, Abra you believe that Abraham got his, Abraham was a Muslim. That's what you said. Yes, uh, no doubt, 100%. Do you agree with it? No, I don't believe that. Did he obviously. submit to God? He submitted to God. According to whom? According to the Bible. There was no Bible that time. How is it according to the Bible? No, according to the Word of God, which I believe is the Word of God, he submitted to Abraham God. Abraham never knew, even Jesus, he never knew about the Bible. No, no, no. Uh, Did Jesus, you know that? Jesus believed in the books of Moses, right? But is it called Bible? It was called the Torah. That's so yeah. Abraham Torah. No, no, wait, hold on a second. Wait, step, you step, by step. No, but step by step before yeah. we don't know. The Torah was given to whom? It was given to Moses. Moses okay. Yes. So Abraham had a son called Isaac. Yes. Isaac had a son called Jacob. Jacob, yeah. Jacob, uh, then, then Moses came after. Yes. How Abraham believed in God according to the Torah, which existed thousands of no, years no. before it. No, remember, in Hebrews 11, it says, by faith, Abraham. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. By word of mouth, I agree, Adam the word of God. To, by, from word of mouth, the word of God was handed out down from Adam to his sons and to his posterity. I don't, I don't agree word. with that. Okay, that's But fine. I'm saying God, Moses, uh, Abraham, yeah. submit to God correctly. Yes. According to the teaching of God. Yes. That God spoke to him. Yes. Gave him a revelation. Yes. That's mean Muslim. Khalas. Okay. Okay. No, was he a Christian? I asked you. Was he a Christian? Abraham. I believe that he lived according to the Hebrew faith, which was in uh, the belief in the God. But Abraham never knew Jesus to be God. You know that. Okay. We're not discussing Jesus here, but what I'm I'll show you. That's why it's, uh, let me, I'm not. No, wait, let me ask. <laughs> let me ask you a question. Let's <laughs> yeah, get straight to the yeah, question. That's why I do. I like that. Okay. I'll tell you what Allah said in the Quran. That's why I look, I'll show you the Quran from Allah. Yeah. Allah said, Ma kana Ibrahimu. Yahudian, wala Nasraniyan. Abraham was not a Jew, not a Christian. Well, Allah said, Kana Musliman, he was a Muslim. How do we know that historically it makes sense? Abraham, Juda Judaism, where, where Judaism came from? Judaism. Came from who? It came from the Jews, the Hebrews. Never came from, no, no, Judaism came from Judah. Yes, the first time yeah, Judaism... But the Hebrews, Judah, came, Judah was a tribe of Israel. I understand that. Yeah. So if Ju Judaism came from Judah, therefore, Isaac and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob, they were not Jew, Jew, Jewish because Judaism came after them. That's fine. Okay, step, step by step. Step, step, step by step. Okay. If, if Jacob, Israel and uh, Isaac, they were not Jew, yeah. let alone Abraham to be a Jew. So was Abraham a Muslim? Was he a Christian? No, Christianity came way after Jesus. Okay. Jesus himself was not Christian. Listen. He was a Muslim. Okay, fine. Listen. Okay. <laughs> so be, be Muslim listen. as well. Listen. Leave the issue of Judaism, yeah. Hindu. Uh, what was Jesus? What was Abraham? Hindu? He was not Hindu. 100%. Let, let me ask, let me ask and he was not question. Christian. 100%. Let me ask you this question. Do you as a he Muslim, was a Muslim. 100 Okay, fine. If you say so. Do you as a Christ, Do you as a Muslim accept the? No, I say so. It's a fact. Okay. If you say so. I no, it's a fact. It. But anyway. Do you, you just accepted it. No, 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 no. Hold on a second. Well, why do you accept this? Let you accept that question. Abraham worshiped God according to his teaching? I That's called that. Islam, submission. Okay, fine. Let's, let's leave it there. Yes. I'm asking you one other question and then I'm going to leave you. Do you believe in the first five books of Moses? Not everything in it. Do you, I believe, believe, in, do you believe in the commandments of God? Okay, uh, can I speak it now? This is not yes. a, you are for home office or something. Ah, uh, no. You, you, know, you, listen, you keep asking questions. Listen, uh, we believe in the Torah that Allah gave to Moses. Okay? Hear me out. Particularly the Ten Commandments. Make sure, make sure, listen, step by yeah. step. Make sure you're listening. Yes, I'm listening. Don't focus on how to answer. Okay. You're listening. Because yeah, I'm not yeah. telling you to answer a question. Go on, I go believe on, in the Torah on. that was given to Moses. Yes. But the Torah that we have, is it the same Torah that was given to Moses? The Jewish scholars will answer you no. Not me. The Jewish scholars will tell you it's not. Okay? <coughs> so basically you're basically... Should your... I prove to you? No, no, no should I prove to second, you? Hold on a second. So basically... Right. You Telling me that I should respect the, the word of the scholars saying that the Torah that you so can I ask No, you, you have to respect the, the proof. Torah? Where is the original <laughs> Excuse Torah? me. Uh, I'm asking you. I didn't say it was given to me to ask yeah. me that question. It was not given to me. So you should ask someone else. Okay. If it was given to me, you ask me that question. Secondly, secondly, the okay. Torah, uh, Emma, the five books, the Torah was given to Moses, correct? Yes. Okay. So God spoke to Moses with the Torah. Yeah. How come in Deuteronomy, in the last chapter, he said Moses died in the land of Moab? Yes. And he was 100 something. Yes. And the Israelites cried for him. Yes. And since then, since what? Since then, yeah. there was no prophet like Moses. Okay. These passages clearly show us yeah. that someone who wrote those passages came way after Moses. Okay. Because it's illogical, irrational yes. to say, like my brother Jamal here. I'll say, my, Jamal, may Allah forbid, he died today. I can't say, since then, there's no someone like Jamal. Someone said, what do you mean since then? Jamal just died today. Since then, indicate there was a long gap of time. Okay. So hold on that passage. 
I don't know who wrote the passage. So how can you say it was given to Moses? Listen, I'm telling you, Moses wrote the first passage. You know, he said, I don't know. Hold on a second. Let, let, let's not go like that. What I'm saying is... Go like what? Go like... You, you, you attack in the Bible. So leave the Bible for a second. But you ask about the Bible. Who wants to attack a uh, footballer? Okay, so what am I... You ask about the Bible. Who wants to about the Bible? Yeah, but you, I'm asking you. Let's go back to the issue of... And I'm answering. Okay. Okay, so listen, one final thing, because, you, you know, I, got, I see you got your brothers here. Listen, what I'm saying... And my sister as well, there's my sister as well. Okay, Alhamdulillah, we have brothers in Islam. Alhamdulillah. Do Islam, does Islam accept the commandments of God that was given to Moses? The commandments of God? Uh, commandments particularly. Yeah, well, uh, wait, 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 wait. Firstly, I don't know all of them, so I can't say yes or no, but I know the first one. Worship God alone, yes. love Him with all your heart, we accept it. Don't kill people unjustly, yes. we accept it. But I don't know all of them, so I'm not going to say... Rather, some scholars said the Ten Commandments that was given to Moses, yes. but this course, uh, uh, one of our scholars um, exists 700 years ago. The Torah at that time may be different, but can you tell me the Ten Commandments in details? Before I do that, I want to ask... Brother, in order for me to answer, I have to understand. Imagine Ten Commandments said, worship a stone. We don't believe that. No, 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 no. Do you understand my point? No, but that's why I'm asking you. Do yeah. you know the Ten Commandments and you... I, said, I know some of them. Okay, so you know yeah. some of them. Yeah, do you know all of them? I know all of them. Okay, where are they? Okay, so thou shalt have no other gods before him. We accept thou that. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to any graven image. No, we accept that. We accept that. You shall not take his name in vain. We accept that. Yes. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Sabbath is for them, not for all of us. It's not for all of us? Yeah, it's not. Is it for you? So hold on a second. You're telling me that a law... Is it for you to keep Sabbath? I believe so. So you, 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 don't, you don't keep it, uh, so you don't keep the Sunday, you keep Sabbath, yeah? I keep the Saturday Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Saturday because, because it's a different dominion of uh, Christianity. Okay, so... Someone to do you accept so let, Saturday. let me ask this question. Because you just said... But you diverse out of respect. No, 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 I'm... No, you did. You know why? Because uh, you told me you believe in a Torah, the five books. And I just... No, I have to... to brother, we have to be honest. We have to... No, no, we have to be honest. I wanted to get no, to no, the... No, 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 we have to be okay, honest. fine, go on. I'll just demonstrate to you... Yes. That the five books that was given to Moses, yes. from within, there's a proofs that was not given to Moses. Okay, I, okay. Uh, and I have no, to no, let me, no, no, brother, I have to let me finish. I'll okay, respect finish. you. Yes. Uh, please, finish come on. Then. Second point is, can you tell me what is the earliest manuscript for the Torah? I have no idea. Okay, I'll tell you, no, no problem. It's Dead Sea Scroll, which okay. is uh, 900 years after Moses. Okay. So, uh, that's uh, fine, that's fine, go on. Brother, okay, let's fine, you have to listen carefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, cause, uh, as a Muslim coming no, here. There's information that you you're sharing, I don't know. Okay, let me. So go on. Me, when I come here, yes. I have a family, you know, I left yes. my family. Okay. I, I never left my family to come joke around, you understand? I, I have no problem to have a fan with my uh, people. To joke yeah, so so we are, if you're sincere, yes. listen carefully. Let's go, let's go. The, the, the Torah, the earliest manuscript that we have for the Torah yeah. is 900 years after Moses. Okay. So someone came yes. 900, 900 years after Moses yes. and he's telling us, he's telling us, Moses said this and Moses did that, okay? okay. Do you know him? We don't know him, the scholars don't know him. Okay? Yes. If we don't know him, can we trust him? No, we can't. So why are you trusting the Torah then? Because 2 Timothy chapter 3.16 says, All scripture, all my Bible is inspired of God. That means Genesis to Revelation is inspired. So okay, I how do you know he's talking about the one? So wait, wait, no, wait, wait. No, 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 wait, wait, step because by step. Go like <coughs> no, no, step by step. He okay, said in, Tim in, in Timothy, yeah. which is Paul, yes. he said all scriptures were inspired by God, correct? Everything. No problem. Yeah. Are you sure that for the sake of argument, because I'm going to refute that as well. For the, show, for the sake of argument, Paul, are you sure you're speaking about Dead Sea Scroll? No. Because it did not exist that time. Listen, I'm saying the Bible that so I So your have argument today, is wrong. No, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you my answer. I'm saying that the, my Bible that I have today, I believe all of it is inspired from God. It's a divine Prove that book, to me. A divine book. But no, but before we go there... No, 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 you don't can't claim say before we go there. Firstly, bro, prove that to me. Firstly, also, prove that to me what Paul said in Timothy. Paul said it because the early manuscript that we have for Paul's letters okay. came 100 years after Paul. Okay. Listen. So prove that to me as well. No, no, no. I'm going by what the Word of God says. This but how do you know that's the Word of God? But because I'm saying by faith, I believe this by, is the Word It's a blind faith. Okay, but you've got blind faith. No, we don't. You see, I'm that's right. I'm ask you. Hold on a second. No, it's not. I came with a question of... First, I came with my first question is, do you believe in the Torah? The five, the five books, I've right? answered it already, but before we go to that, out of respect, you have a blind faith. Don't, don't accuse everyone of you have a blind faith. Alhamdulillah, Islam... There's some things I've never no, seen. No, 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 no. Islam is not... You don't have to see something to believe in it. Of for course. example, for example... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have our brother Ihsan here, brother Jamal, the brother... I swear, okay, which... Uh, yeah? Yeah. These brothers, I know them, yeah? Yeah. If they tell me something, I don't have to see to believe in it. Okay. For example, sometimes we use a tom tom. You know tom tom? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. You go into a place you've never been there before. Right, right. But you still trust in the tom tom, even yes. though you haven't seen it. Yes. So, in order for us to know about something, yeah. we don't have to see it directly. That's fine. There's I other, that. Hear me I out. That. There's That's other fine. ways of knowing something. You understand? That's fine. One of the ways, because back in those days, there was no cameras, there was no tape recorder. That's fine. How to know something, someone said something or he didn't? 
we have to check the narrators. That's why in Islam we have something called Al Isnadu. Okay. Where is it? Checking yeah. in details the chain of the narrators. Now let's go back to your Bible, which you keep talking about, and you cannot substantiate any proofs that this book is from God. Okay, let's leave it there. Let's accept that. Let's say I accept that. You accept your, your argument. Now let me ask you. No, no, don't say let's accept for the sake of argument. No. Like I said, I have because respect. I what's your name? Sir, what's your name? Ridwan. Ridwan, okay. Ridwan is a beautiful name, you know? I thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. But so no, I will say to you, Ridwan, look, look, yeah. Ridwan, we're not, just, we're not here for the sake of argument. Yeah, we're here to establish truth. I'm simply asking. You're not even listening to what I said. Ridwan, I said. I was speaking. I'm going to let you finish while I was speaking. You finish and then I'll speak. While I was here, Ridwan, my way of speaking to people is I don't like to digress too much. I don't like people to not answer my questions and deal with every point detailed in detailed way and clear way. My point to you is, I just showed you with the clear proofs from within and outside the Bible that the Bible cannot be trusted and we don't know who wrote it, but yet you say for the sake of argument. What you should say, you know what Shamsi, you're making good points. Let me go back and study this issue. Don't tell me for the sake of argument. I'm showing you proofs, tangible proofs. Okay. Now I can speak. Yeah, you can speak, of course. You have a mouth, that's why. I've never seen Jesus. I'm going to hold your mouth. I've never seen Jesus, yeah. but I have faith that he existed and I trust in him. You understand what I'm saying? I've never seen him. So, I never I never heard people. So how do you know he existed? I know from the scriptures. The yeah, scriptures but again, we're going to, you know what you're doing? It's called secular reasoning. Secular reasoning. Okay, but, but this is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, before I come Alhamdulillah for this, Islam. That's why Islam is the best. Okay, that's fine. I, I accept your point to say Islam is the best. You accept. So you become point. Muslim then if you accept he's the best. No, no, no. Listen, what I'm asking you is. No, wait. You said you accept Islam is the best. Logic dictates you should become a Muslim. Your statement for yourself. Of course, that's my statement. It's not someone's statement. Okay. Shamsi, let me. Yeah, but ask I'm not here for the sake of argument, brother. That's why it's, I I'm not here for the cameras. Go on. Let me ask you a question. You're a coming guest. Back to the, coming back to the Ten Commandments. Sayyib, go on ahead. Yes, there's those commandments which you said you don't bow down to other gods, you don't take his name in vain, you don't That's worship correct. any other god. Fine, I, re yes. I, I respect that. After that fourth commandment which I mentioned, it says, uh, honor your father and your mother. I accept so that. Is, yeah. Thou shalt not commit adultery. And thou the Islamic way is the best way. Let's say again. The way we respect our parents in Islam is the best way. Fair play, okay, I accept that. Thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou yes, shalt Islam. not murder. Unjustly, not unjustly. Shall not covet. Murder unjustly. You have to add unjustly. Okay, uh, my Bible doesn't say that, but it does. Fine. It does. Because if it says you should not murder, why Moses was murdering people? That wasn't condoned by God. But you just told me in the commandment said you should not murder. Exactly. So why Moses, Moses was murdering people? He was wrong to do that. Go told him. No, it's Leviticus. Go to him to go murder. No, no, no. We're talking about in Exodus when he killed that Egyptian. He hid him in the sand. So there's two Moses. There's Moses of Exodus and there's Moses of Leviticus. So which scripture are you talking about? I'm talking about just in, there's in Deuteronomy. Yes. I'll show you when God's given the order to Moses okay. to go siege a, a city, yes. besiege a city. Yes. You can kill them and kill the man. Okay. So now, you know, step by step because okay, that's, what, go, go, well, that's the beauty of Islam. Islam makes it specific. Okay. Don't kill unjustly. Because we live in a universe when you have some time to kill someone who's going to come to kill you. Okay. Islam is not a joke religion. Islam is a religion go in line with our sound reasoning. Okay. So the yeah. point here is, you said, the commandment said you should not, not, you should not kill. Okay? Yes. But the God said to Moses, don't kill. But the same God, he said to Moses, kill. So which one is it? Kill or don't kill? Okay, I'm going to explain that. When, when you study the history of the Bible, you will see that the children of Israel were under theocracy. What does a theocracy mean? It means that God brought the children of Israel out of Egypt and He was their king. Why? Because in 1 Samuel chapter 10, the children of Israel say to God, say to Samuel, Samuel, make us a king so we can be like all the other nations. I know that story, yeah. Then, the, then God says to Samuel, don't cry, don't weep. They not rejected you, they rejected me from being king. Okay. So all along, God was the one who was in control and leading the children of Israel. He was their God, he was their king in reality. But when they chose to be like the other nations, the theocracy passed from the laws which God gave them straight for themselves to now becoming like the other nations are having laws. That was like not my question, I've respect Radwan. So, Radwan, so the, go so on, so carry the answer is this. The answer which you, is, find, you find Saul as well. David. No, I'm not asking about Saul, I'm talking about Moses, same one who goes on, don't kill. Go to him to kill. So which one? That's why I said, that's why I said restricted to yeah. don't kill unjustly. Okay, listen. So answer, you agree with me? Don't kill unjustly. No, 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 I don't believe that. So you should not kill? We should not kill. So why God said to kill? 
because there to were Moses. nations. No, no, to look, Moses. Not yes, to, I'm, I'm saying yeah, that. Yeah. There were nations who had, I mean, when you look up nations in the Bible that were killed by God's people, they had always filled up their iniquity. In other words, iniquity or sin was full up. Same. I understand that, but when God said to Moses, kill, was he wrong or was he right? God, was he right to say kill? 100% right. He was right. When he said do not kill, he would say right or was he wrong? His commandment said don't kill. I'm asking you, when God said do not kill, was he right or wrong? Right. When he said kill, was he right or wrong? Right. So both of them is right to kill and is right not to not kill. In those days, God was leading the children of Israel okay. and he said... I understand Moses, that. So yes. God said to kill. Yes, he said to take out, uh, destroy those nations. So there is time when God said to kill. Yes. So when God said do not kill, not all the time. Because there is a time in the Bible when God said to kill. Yes, he did So say. therefore, when God said to kill, without any doubt, God will not tell you to cause oppression. He said to kill based upon justice. Yes? He's, of course. That's why no, I said do not kill to, unjustly. He said to That's kill. That's it. Look, I'm no, breaking no, it down for you. Shamsi. It's easy. It's he said to kill because yeah. We have nations, to go pray, Maghrib. Okay, you need to go pray. Listen, yeah. one more thing. He said to kill because nations, the sin of nations had reached the level. I understand oh, what justification you're looking for. Okay, no, no. But no, he no. said to kill regardless okay, what justification let's, let's, is. Okay, let's... Yes. I, they've all heard when I said regardless, or some stuff I don't agree with. Okay, so they've heard your explanation. That's fine. So you said all those commandments you agree with. Now I'm asking you as a as a as a as a, a, as a Muslim. believer in a Muslim, I'm asking you why is it that Islam re accepts all those commandments but it rejects the Sabbath? I'm asking you that because why? the Sabbath, firstly, yes. the Islam is not rejecting the Sabbath. Yes, Islam doesn't. Islam uh, uh, accept that the Sabbath was given to the Christians, to the Jewish people. It's a light. We have no problem with that. That Sabbath was given to them. But Allah gave them. Who gave them the Sabbath? No, they chose the Sabbath. No, it was given to. Them. They chose it to act to 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 do righteous actions. Khalas, but Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave us Friday, the blessed day, which uh, the Jewish and the Christian they were looking for the day which God blessed, the be blessed day. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave that blessed day to the Muslim one, who Allah honored, which is Friday. The blessed day is not Sunday, it's not Saturday, it's Friday. Okay, okay. That, that's according to your reasoning. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. According to the Quran, which we can prove it from God. You, you keep telling me about Genesis, Leviticus. Can you prove that teaching from God? Well, you, that's why I said. You me. cannot prove it. Therefore, faith. you take care of yourself. You have a blind faith. Okay. I have to go pray. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.